nominated housemates will be evicted on Sunday during the live eviction show. Remember, you're not permitted to campaign for votes or talk about your perceived voters. Jesus! Bro! <laughs> he was! I'm fucking nominated automatically. No cap. Automatic nomination. What? What? If I fire you, I'm going to quench. Okay, guys, for real, for real, for real, I am speechless. Yes, I mean, ignore the fact that I'm actually talking to you right now. Yes, I mean, Gloria Elijah is actually speaking on this video because she has to speak, but my emotions are kind of numb right now. Ah! Guys, I watched the way Angel sleekly betrayed doing during the live nominations process. And see, I kept on shaking my head like this. Ah! It was wild. It was wild. I did not see that coming. I did not. I did not. I did not. Guys, I don't know how you feel about that, but just go ahead. Let me know what you think about that process. And I will give you my reasons for being shocked, actually. Yeah, because there's a lot to say to that. And for those of you that missed out on my videos today, trust me, you need to go and watch them. After watching these ones, of course. Because, guys, I did a video today, you know, x-raying the conversation and um, that happened between doi and angel right from last night as a matter of fact immediately after the live eviction show doi had started lobbying again you know for nomination favors and she had been spearheading that conversation between herself soma and angel on who they should nominate and guess what the ship the couple literally threw her under the bus guys it was wild. It was insane. So we're going to get into this video. I'm going to tell you all about it. There's a lot to say to that, all right? And aside that, tonight's Black Envelope Challenge <laughs> came with a wild twist. Big Brother decided to play the housemates by their own game. Guys, it was really wild how one of the Black Envelopes came with an automatic nomination. Yes. You heard it from me. So you know what, guys? There's a lot to be said on this video. Let's get into it. I'm gonna be spilling all of that juicy tea. So please make sure you watch to the end of this video. Do not skip out on any part. And you are all welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Gloria Elijah. This is Frankly Speaking with Gloria Elijah, and I am the girl with the tea. For those of you that are newly subscribed to this channel, thank you all so much for becoming a part of this tribe. Yes, on here we have so much fun. And for those of you that it's just sort of confused as to if you should subscribe or not. Could you just please hit the red subscribe button? Just subscribe, all right? Just subscribe. It's free and it's easy. Do exactly what you see on your screen, all right? And please like this video and feel free to share. Now quickly, let's proceed with the details of this conversation. First things first, before we get with the program, massive, massive congratulations to the king of a blah blah himself. I'm speaking about Omashola, AKA Shalzi. I hope I got that right, yes. Shalzi. So Omashola, for the first time in the history of Big Brother Niger, emerged the head of house tonight yes and i'm speaking about his own history because during his season the pepper them gang season the guy did not even smell head of house throne <laughs> the guy did not get it at all but this time around it was quite interesting that um he got it you know despite being um one of big brother's house guests in other words a fake housemate here. Like, you know, in a way, I sort of wished that he was a real housemate so that he could fully benefit from the immunity that comes with the role of head of house. But regardless, massive congratulations to him. He has been craving that title. I mean, since he got into Big Brother's house and one of those perks that he had been craving for from that particular title is the head of house lounge. Yes, he had been begging people, you know, to take him along if and when they emerge the head of house and they've just been playing him for games like that but tonight he won it you know with all the perks that comes with it so once again massive congratulations to omashola and um for his bffs he had gone ahead to choose um Ilebaye, which is quite exciting guys because Ilebaye is one of those housemates that has never smelt even the staircase of the head of house lounge yes and she was just genuinely excited and grateful to omashola for that and um, he also chose mercy he chose cc now 
his reason for choosing CC in place of Pere, who he wanted to choose before, is because EK had actually asked of him the favor of taking care of CC, you know, before he got evicted from the house. And I'm like, oh my God, that's so sweet. <laughs> that is so sweet but anyways guys and um, that is that for Omashala and the other ones now quickly moving on to the black envelope challenge ladies and gentlemen as usual there were three envelopes in the house and of late big brother has sort of switched things up which i really love because hey one of the things that we were actually looking forward to for from this season is um a big brother that will also play the game you know along or her head of the housemates and that's exactly what biggie has been doing this season biggie has been very very mischievous guys and i have been loving every single moment of it and so i have been loving the changes you know the twists that comes with the black envelope challenge so for tonight as usual there were three envelopes and um kimopra found one adekunle found one white money also found one now adekunle's envelope was the only one that came with immunity for the week um white money's one <laughs> was the one that came with automatic <laughs> nomination <laughs> guys white money was so shocked and traumatized <laughs> the guys are passing on a message to dano milk it was literally telling them that they've actually given him ptsd moving forward that <laughs> he actually found the envelope stuck in between the dano milk um packs where it was kept so moving forward he's not gonna drink dano milk anymore because <laughs> They were the ones that actually gave him <laughs> automatic nominations, guys. It was so hilarious. <laughs> and then for Kimopra, she got um, as you were, just like that. You know, Biggie's favorite words, as you were. So it was quite interesting, but just very, very funny. And then for Adekunle, Adekunle and Benita were so excited about Adekunle finding that immunity card. And they decided to try to piss on the moods of the rest of the house. According to Adekunle, on behalf of EK, he was going to sort of, in quotes, terrorize the house this week, you know, by virtue of his immunity. So first of all, um, with the assistance of Venita, they had gone ahead to um, stick the envelope, the immunity envelope, you know, in front of Adekunle's um, closet. And I'm like, yeah, okay. Oh. Anyways, moving on to the live nomination process. Now, just like last week, Big Brother had instructed the housemates to nominate three of their fellow housemates to be up for nomination for possible eviction. Now, beginning with Adekunle, Adekunle nominated Mercy, Alex, and Doin. Alex nominated Neil, Doin, and Venita. Doin nominated Kimopra, Venita, and Soma, um, CC nominated Ilebae, Doi, and Soma. Neo nominated Kimopra, Ilebae, and Angel. Kimopra nominated Doi and Neo. Now, guys, she is not supposed to nominate anybody because she is not a real housemate. She's just one of Big Brother's guests. But Big Brother had asked her, you know, if she were to be in a position to nominate, who would she nominate and why? And she had nominated those two people. And her reasons were that they were the people she had the least connection with in the house. And guys, I'm going to be frank with you all. Every time I hear these housemates, you know, use that line as an excuse, I wonder like, is this a family reunion? Are you here to come and nominate only people you don't have connections with like how does that really make sense guys what are your sentiments about that do you does it always put you off or do you think it's actually a reasonable enough reason you know from these housemates before we talk about angel's nomination let's take a step back and you know review how doing carried out her own nomination privilege guys it was really annoying I mean, I like doing a lot. I love her personality. I love her audacity. I just love how unapologetic she is. But every time doing gets into the diary room and does this thing, it's really a turn off. It's very annoying. I think during the level up season, she's done it before. And now she did the same thing again tonight, you know? I mean, girl, go ahead, carry out a nomination. Doing would waste time. In fact, tonight she was wasting so much time. Big Brother was obviously irritated. And then he had thrown like a caution, a word of caution to her. Like she should go ahead and complete a nomination or risk disqualification. And guys, 
I loved it. I loved it because Doyle just kept on going on and on, you know, being overly dramatic. And guys, it was very irritating. And it was more irritating because Doyle was the first housemate that started lobbying to alter the course of the nominations process right from yesterday evening, immediately after the live eviction show. So she going into the dairy room and started acting like, oh my God, big brother, I'm damsel in distress. I don't even know what to do, guys. It was so irritating, so irritating. And she was not the only person that did it. Angel did it, Neo did it, one or two other housemates did it. And guys, at this point, here is what I have to say to big brother, that please, Biggie, when next there is a live nominations process and these housemates are coming to come and waste your time or ask the viewers time, Biggie, just simply add them to the nominations list, period. Because it's so annoying when after Big Brother tells them that they have 15 seconds left, they still go ahead to delay. Biggie, please. I know that you like doing what you want to do. It's your house, it's your rules, but it would be very, very nice if you can just add them into the list. Anybody that delays, since they act like, oh, they don't know the person's name to put, just help us put their name there, period. Moving on to Angel. Angel nominated Kim Opera, Venita, and Doing guys when angel mentioned doing his name i almost fell off my seat i was shocked guys i almost gagged because these two people had sort of struck up an alliance in conspiracy guys since yesterday night they have been discussing they've been conspiring even the whole of today they were having conversations oh, about everything that was happening in the house. Venita and Mercy's Mean Girl vibes, you know, every everything. Um, Angel at some point was um, defending Doin's name, you know, against Venita's slander. It was crazy. Only for her to get into the diary room and then she was pretending like, oh my God, I can't re even remember the people that we have in the house. Oh my God, I can't even remember who to even mention. And then she went ahead and mentioned Doin's name, like Doin was the only person in the house. <laughs> Guys, what do you think about that? How did you feel when you saw that happen? Anyways, moving on, Pere nominated Alex Ilebaye and Nyo. I was kind of surprised that Pere nominated Nyo, to be honest, because they've sort of been cool this entire weekend. It's not like I did not see it coming. I definitely did see it coming, but I was kind of surprised really surprised anyways moving on mercy nominated neo doing and kimopra ilebaye nominated kimopra venita and pere i mean i saw it coming that she was going to nominate pere anyways and venita nominated doing alex and mercy i was kind of shocked that venita nominated her friend mercy <laughs> hey god anyways white money nominated um cc ilebaye and Venita. I wasn't really surprised that he nominated those people. Yeah, they've been giving him a hard time in the house. Cross nominated Suma, Sisi, and Ilebaye, also people that slighted him in the house. Suma nominated Doyin, Kimopra, and Mercy. Whilst on martial art, just the same as Kimopra, you know, was instructed to um, nominate two people regardless of the fact that they were not allowed to nominate. Yes, and mind you, the nominations was not counted so he had gone ahead to nominate Kim Opera and I can't remember the name of the other person I forgot to you know put that down but anyways on to the housemates that had the most nominations for tonight Doi actually had the most nominations guys Doi had seven nominations followed by Kim Opera Kim Opera had six nominations guys the only thing that's saving Kim Opera tonight is that she's a fake housemate yes but she got six nominations um Neo got three Benita got um five Ilebaye got five nominations as well Alex got three Mercy got three Soma and okay Soma got three CC got two and then there's white money that is automatically up for eviction this week by virtue of the content of um the black envelope that he found out during the black envelope challenge and so in total big brother only put up housemates with more than three nominations yes and it's making me wonder why biggie is not just going ahead to put up everybody you know that has more than two nominations anyways because that's what we are used to seeing on the show but i guess big brother has a new agenda this season anyways um doing is up kimopra is up um venita is up eleva is up and white money is up making it a total of four people because if you think about it guys i mean realistically four real housemates are up for nominations for possible eviction this week whilst kimopra is just 
an addition, all right? But anyways, guys, that's all. That's all for tonight's immunity games and challenges, all right? Um, let me know your highlights from everything that's happened tonight. Let me know your highlights. Share with me in the comment section below. And also let me know who you will be voting for. Yes, let me know of the four nominated housemates. Let me know those ones that you would love to see evicted from Big Brother's house this week, all right? And I'll see you guys on another video soon. Have an amazing, amazing evening. Bye.